Hello boys and girls, my name is Liz and I'm going to tell you a story. It's a story as part of the Playful Museums Festival run by the Northern Ireland Museums Council. And today's story comes from a book because as well as telling stories, I write books. And this story is from a book called Boom Chicka Boom, which I wrote. But I wanted to talk to you about books because I love going to libraries ever since I was a little girl and I love borrowing books and I love having my own books and so the story today is the first story in this book of mine and it's a very special story for me because my daughter when she was a little girl used to love to go and visit her granny so I'm going to tell you the story called Going to Grannies and it's a good fun story with lots of joining in so I'm hoping you'll join me in the story and then maybe afterwards maybe you'll draw a picture of what happens in the story because there's some funny things happen. So the story is about Claire, and she loved to go to her granny's house. Now if you're going for a sleepover, you're going to pack your bag. What sort of things would you put in? Let's see what you can guess. Of course you'd need your jammies. And you'd need, oh, your pants and your socks and your vest. You would need those, wouldn't you? And you'd need maybe a t-shirt and some jeans. Maybe a nice warm jumper. Welly boots in case you're going to the country. Maybe Granny lives in the country. Maybe mm, a present. What would you take as a present? Maybe flowers. Or maybe, mm, what would be nice? Maybe a box of chocolates. And sometimes it's so long since we've seen our Granny, we need to start planning what we're going to take when we do get to see her. So in this story, Claire runs into the bedroom. So I want you to drum, drum your hands on your legs like this. Just get that there. And she hops into bed like this. Granny pulls up the covers and gives her a big kiss. Flicks off the light and closes this winky door. Have you got that? Oh, you'll catch up. Claire was going off to see her granny, so she packed her big bag of clothes. She went to granny's house, she took her favorite toy and she took a lovely teddy bear. That was her favorite toy. And she ran in the bedroom. And she hopped into bed, Granny pulled up the covers, gave her a big kiss, flicked off the light, closed the sneaky door, and Claire started to cry. <laughs> What's wrong, Claire? said Granny. I'm lonely in there all by myself. Oh dear, said Granny. Hmm. Tomorrow night you can take the dog with you. So the next night she ran in the bedroom, she hopped into bed. The dog hopped into bed. Granny pulled up the covers, gave her a big kiss. Flicked off the light, closed the squeaky door, and Claire started to cry again. <laughs> and the dog started to bark. <laughs> Granny said, what's wrong, Claire? We're still lonely. Right, tomorrow night, take the cat with you. So the next night she ran in the bedroom, hopped into bed. The dog hopped into bed. The cat hopped into bed. Granny pulled up the covers and gave her a big kiss. Flicked off the light, closed the squeaky door. <laughs> What's wrong, Claire? We're still lonely. Tomorrow night, you can take the pet lamb to bed. So she ran in the bedroom, hopped into bed, dog hopped into bed, cat hopped into bed, lamb hopped into bed. Granny pulled up the covers, gave her a big kiss, flicked off the light, curls the sneak <laughs> said, what's wrong now, Claire? She said, we're still lonely. Right, said Granny. I've only one animal left. You may take the horse to bed with you. Ha! Huh. She ran in the bedroom, hopped into bed, dog hopped into bed, cat hopped into bed, lamb hopped into bed, horse hopped into bed, the bed went crash. The floor went crash. The whole house went crash. But Granny's are very clever. Granny went out and she bought a big new house with a big new bed big enough to hold a girl called Claire and, can you remember, a dog, a cat, a lamb and most of all a horse. <coughs> That's gone to Granny's. And some people draw the most lovely pictures of that with all the animals in the bed. Maybe you could do that. So I'm hoping you enjoyed our story and that you love to read books. Go to your local library and look for books and go to your local museum just as soon as it's open and have a look at all the wonderful things they've got. Lots of fun and playful museums.